Hi, I'm Robin. And I'm Damon. And we're from Dr. Doghouse Bully Crew Rescue. So a couple years ago, I um, met some trainers, started working with a trainer named Melanie. And about a year and a half ago, um, I came together with my fiance, Damon, and we started Dr. Doghouse Bully Crew Rescue. The primary function of rescues, like Dr. Doghouse, are to go into these shelters, find dogs that can eventually be adopted out, to get them into training, to get them vetted, to get them neutered or spayed, and to find a great home for them. When we take a dog on, we take a dog on for its lifetime. When we rescue a dog, we stand behind our dogs. So when we adopt a dog out to somebody and say they have an issue or whatever, we'll go and we'll help you, we'll help you with whatever situation you're in. If you go into any city in the United States, there are dog shelters or animal shelters that are in your city uh, where you live. Shelters are places where people that find dogs that are abandoned or stray are put. And if you go into any city in the United States, there is a shelter near you. So what we do is either by Facebook or by word of mouth, we'll get a line on a dog and we'll go down there, check him out, see if he is even adoptable. In our area, there is a place called East Valley Shelter where there's people like Andrew who are volunteers who know these dogs well, who know their temperament, and they'll pull us aside and, and let us know, hey, hey this, this dog right here is really sweet. This dog right here, I, we know can get adopted if you guys can take it on. So the first thing we do is once we see a dog that, that, that catches our attention, we'll pull, they have a card that's on their, their kennel, and it kind of gives a brief description of the dog, seeing as is it, is it neutered? Is it spayed? Is it, uh, is it even available? Um, is it have behavioral problems? Is it not? Some people will put notes on the back, like some of the volunteers will say, oh, this dog is great. This dog came and sat on my lap. This dog came and licked my face. Or it'll say, stay away from this dog. This dog is severely uh, people aggressive. Um, so those, those are the kind of things we'll, we'll first look for when we get that card. And, and once we see that card and it's, it's something we want to see, then we'll take it to the front desk and uh, we'll have one of the volunteers pull the dog out for us. And so what Andrew will do is he will, uh, he'll go and grab one of the dogs out of the kennel. He'll end up, he'll walk him past the other kennels to see how the dog is with other dogs, see if it's, it's a, a dog aggressive, if it doesn't even care. And what he'll do is he'll, he'll bring it over to a play area uh, where it's like kind of a meet and greet place. And that's where we actually do the, the temp test and the evaluation. So we can actually get the dog off, off a tether, have it run around, kind of see what it's really about, sort of, if you can, if you can really tell inside of a shelter. Uh, but it kind of gives you a, 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 an idea in the beginning to see what kind of dog it is. And the second thing we do is check their ears, see if there's, there's ear mites. We can check and see if they got ticks. Uh, we can check to see if they got skin problems. Just, just to see if overall kind of a, a, a little evaluation of their health to see how they are. And you can kind of just grab them in their, you know, in their private parts to see if they're gonna be, if they're gonna snap at you. Um, but it's just basically checking the dog out to see if it's uh, healthy. And the third thing we do is do an assessment of its overall adoptability. Um, how much it's gonna cost in medical? Uh, how long is this dog gonna need to be trained? Um, do we have the space for it? Um, you know, we are, we're a nonprofit and we run on donations and on, you know, on our own money. So uh, it, it all comes down to help from you guys. The evaluations work a lot better when we have a volunteer like Andrew to uh, come in and be in the, uh, the pen with us when we're doing the, in the meet and greet areas because these guys know these dogs and uh, we can get a better idea of how the dog is gonna be um, it just, it just puts the dog more at ease when it's around somebody that they know. We primarily rescue the bully breeds, because I mean, if you go into the shelters, it's just about 80% are bullies. Uh, what we look for in a bully is, uh, first of all, their temperament, to see how they are with, with people. These dogs are very strong, they're very energetic, and you, you have to know how to handle these dogs, uh, because they're not your typical poodle, your lab or whatever like that. You know, these dogs are, you know, they're very strong. So what we're looking for is like, you can tell when a dog has been loved and when, you know, when you go up to it and it's, it's, uh, it's friendly and it's, it wants to lick your face. And you know, those are the kind of things that we're looking for 
in, in a dog that we're going to try to get adopted. Once the dogs have gone through our process and are adoptable, then we take them to our adoption events. You know, we do uh, adoption events on Sundays over at a place called Chrysler's in Studio City. Uh, it's like a pet food, specialty pet food place, uh, where we, you know, we, we bring the dogs and we, we show them and, and let people walk them, and let people pet them and see how great, you know, how well behaved they are. And we also, you know, we network them on Facebook, network them, and, you know, we basically network them everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere we are, we're always talking about dogs. We're always talking about our dogs and how great pit bulls are and what a great breed they are and how loyal this breed is. And, you know, once you've had a pit bull, you'll never have another kind of dog. And finally, why it's important to adopt from a rescue is because uh, the rescue knows the dog, you know. When you just go to a shelter and you just pull a dog and you think it's just going to be, you know, you don't know what it's about, we know what it's about. So we can tell you, you know, we can tell you if it's good with kids, we can tell you if it's good with other dogs, we can tell you, you know, if it likes to be alone, if it doesn't like to be alone, if it's crate trained, if it's potty trained. So, you know, we just, that's the, that's the main reason why you should go through a rescue. Uh, and also, we you know we back our dogs up. So when you when you when you adopt a dog from Dr. Doghouse, Dr. Doghouse will be there with you throughout the dog's life. So if you're looking for a dog, Google a rescue in your area. Um, you can check them out on Facebook. You can if they have a web page, you can check their web page out. But please adopt, adopt, adopt. Do not go to a puppy store and buy puppies. Those dogs, we need to stop the backyard breeding. There's too many dogs in these shelters that need, that need homes. There's too many dogs that are dying every day because of these people that are backyard breeding. Just the feeling you get when, you, when you're able to adopt one of these dogs out, knowing that you've gone through all these, this, all these steps of doing the medical and the training and all that stuff, and then finally, actually, even when you're adopting a pit bull out to somebody who's never had a pit bull, and then once they own one of your dogs, one of the dogs that, you, that you've rescued, and they're like, you know, you've completely changed my mind on this breed. And, you know, the feeling you get from that is just, it's just unbelievable. You can make a difference. Contact your local rescue if you're interested in adopting a dog. Or you, if you want to call, contact us, you can uh, call us at 661-388-8704 or email us at doghousebullycrew at gmail.com. Once again, we're Dr. Doghouse Bullet Crew Rescue, and it's been a pleasure. Thank you.